حضرك بالعزاء عد فاطمة دين توفيك بماماتك توفيك بماماتك اي اذا ما لك على قوية لحسين اذا ما لك على قوية لحسين شد فيدك صلاتك صدقني عظيمة دمعة العين تغفر سيئاتك هذا اي معجزة الخداع تظهر بالقيامة قول معجزة الخداع تظهر بالقيامة اي وقت الخوف انت تشوف الخير كله طبعك على المظلوم عندك خلي صيحة والزهرة تسمع والزهرة تسمع إذا ما طايف حسيني بضريحة إذا ما طايف حسيني بضريحة يا حج لي نفحك ذبيحة وحسن يرفعك وحسن يرفعك على اجري لزار مرة شنو؟ حجة والف عمرة اجري لزار مرة حجة حجة والف عمرة اي يمكن تصريح ما كتصيح الخير كله بخدمتك على مشي بيانات انت بسيرة القاه بجرة ثمينة اي ما شايعتني وصرخ حسينا ما شايعتني سين مولاه في اشكال دينه اسمع اي جبريل بعظمته خاتم يما شفته اي جبريل بعظمته خاتم يما شفته اي هل الرسول هو يقول شو يقول الخير كله بخدمته هلا الخير كله هلا خد يا من خايف الخير اهدم واترك الخير يا من
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على خير خلقه أجمعين محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المنتزبين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين روحي وأرواح العالمين لما قدبي لتراب مقدمه الفداء uh, respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Uh, we are in the last segment of um, Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah uh, Aviu e Pita. Um, we are in the last segment of After the Massacre, inshallah, the fifth and last one. But inshallah, next week, where Muaki Council of Scholars is always cooking. So inshallah, uh, next week we'll have a different program, inshallah ta'ala. For tonight, without uh, any waste uh, of time, uh, we welcome our speaker. We'll be speaking um, about uh, his topic is the caravan of salvation. And he's always on point with his um, backgrounds and regalia. <laughs> Masha Allah. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Kya utu ala rrak? Ah, wa utu ala, wa utu ala. Fedir Rushab. Ah, alhamdulillah. Kunyan ala. Alhamdulillah. Shukran. Ah, ne. Hey. Iri, iri tlak kwa utaruna. Matala say. Kisaw kinye zana ako, inshallah. Tsena mutabi. Bismillah. Masha di Facebook. Kya kwasha ilani Facebook. Kya kwasha ilani Facebook. Kya kwasha ilani Facebook. Please take it away. Over to you, my beloved brother. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين ثم الصلاة والسلام على الأشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيبي إله العالمين بالقاسم مصطفى محمد وأهل بيته تجبين توهرين سيما باكية الله في الأرضين ما بعد فقال تعالى في محكم الكتاب بعد غضب الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استجيبوا لله وللرسول إذا دعوكم لما يحييكم صدق الله وصدق الله العظيم العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته تقول اليوز خوتي بيلونا يا موبي لنا أرو أري 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 موبيلين أري في الموبيلو لنا opportunity to come and present my uh, my presentation during in Shebani the the caravan of Ahl al-Bayt or the caravan of salvation. Now inshallah the family boy have a fortune of a pillow for a pillow for the events of the Allah for a pillow for the events of the Allah for a pillow for the events of the Allah for a pillow for the for a pillow for the inspired for a pillow for a I will be Islam. Tumule Bua Hape, Hore Pachunia, Hore Bebe, among the people coloring, there are the generation or those who are who follow the last Imam, Imam Zaman, which are the Lord of Sharif. Inshallah. Let me just get to my topic, Inshallah. Now, my topic is the caravan of salvation. Now, before I enter into what salvation is and the caravan, and I want to speak about what inspired this topic. And what inspired this topic is definitely the caravan of Imam Hussein. We all believe that Imam Hussein, the caravan 
o baitele di pele ba hae o e puteo ya hae ini ili puteo eroring e tsamisa ka nnete tsamisa nnete ini le puteo ne ne tse nnete ne le puteo e nolo re nelo ne nelo ntsana against falsehood and protect and prevent and also promote a uh, truthfulness inshallah now i quoted the verse inshallah uh, where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you have been aman all you believe uh, is that you will in allah he will respond respond to the call of allah in his prophet when he calls you to that which gives you life and he says that when he calls you to that which gives you life and he says that when he calls you to that which gives you it's a very uh, fascinating verse inshallah I will try to, to give the 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 reference of the verse inshallah towards the end of this segment, uh, segment inshallah now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling people towards life and is calling people towards life to those who are alive so therefore this is a very fascinating that means uh, it is some kind of life that is not life that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't view it as life and he, he calls it towards that which gives you life so that means there is a various of interpretation of what the real life is because uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't call you to something that gives you life if you were not alive he calls you to that which gives you life because you need you are not alive you're not really alive so he calls you to that which gives you life because you need life so what is the meaning of life there are various interpretation of what life is and from my perspective and from the, the teachings of our faith is that life is that which has purpose and which that which has purpose become the, the, the general purpose because these two things are misinterpreted and then you can see how people live it shows how uh, what people have different ideology of what really life is and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the originator of life he is calling us towards that which is life and uh, from that on speaking about um, purpose uh, there are also various interpretation of also what purpose is and you would hear, hear people about work out my purpose in life is that I am a, a, a lawyer. My purpose in life is that I want to be an artist. And then that is a purpose in, in my life. So therefore, it, that shows if we can eliminate that which you think is purpose, and then, then what is the meaning of your life? And what is the meaning of your existence? So therefore, if you don't have purpose, then you'll never know the meaning of what life is. And so that means purpose should be generally all about life and that life uh, which is something allowing it originates from allah which is eternal the purpose also should be eternal and general to all of us meaning all of us since we share life all of us we can say that we are alive then that means that we must have a shared purpose all of us that means all of us must have a general purpose because purpose is coupled with life to find a meaningful life then you need to have a meaningful purpose you must you must have purpose that is general to all of us because life is all of, we share all of, all of us we share that life which is uh, eternal which is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so therefore the purpose should be general to all of us because all these purposes that I've mentioned they are uh, inspired by a popular one fatile and then therefore the popular one fatile una lini una le bobo fellanti if bofu una le bobo fellanti and yet life is eternal that means the purpose should also be eternal and general to all of us as human beings inshallah now so Purpose, a uh, uh, purpose, yarona, 
Utamli uh, Ibn General should that means Utamli Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala should tell us what the, the meaning of uh, purpose is. Uh, meaning, meaning that the purpose should be meaningful, that means our life also should be meaningful. And therefore, then we will know what really our purpose is. So now coming to, we will know what our purpose is and then we will know what our life really means. And then we will know uh, what is the meaning of life. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, our life, if if we 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 come to to know the the meaning of what uh, really life is, then we will be able to to live a meaningful life, and then we'll we will have a purpose monitoring eternal. Because of, as as I've said that the purpose entering it's 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 limited to this life is not a meaningful purpose. A meaningful purpose should be coupled with life, which is eternal. And then that purpose should be general to all of us. That means that is the reason of for our creation, inshallah. So inshallah now comes to the point where I uh, I, I, I came with the, 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 the topic of the caravan of salvation. We can all agree that um, the meaning of salvation means that you are free. You are free from uh, slavery or the shackles of this life or anything that binds you. Uh, when you are, uh, you are when, 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 when you enter the caravan of salvation, that means you are you are you have entered the life of truthfulness. When you have entered the life of a caravan, uh, the caravan of salvation, that means you have entered the life that is meaningful and purposeful. And then that it has a eternal eternal life, inshallah. So in order for us to start entering, because you know, uh, many people uh, uh, when Imam Hussein started embarking on the, the journey towards Karbala, uh, there were very few individuals among uh, among his um, congregation. Meaning, during that time, what was happening? How many people should have been part of this caravan? And then how many people who were Muslim during that time? How many people knew uh, who Imam Hussein is? How many people wanted to support Imam Hussein. Many wanted to support Imam Hussein. Many knew Imam Hussein. So therefore, there were many reasons telling the Indians part of the caravan. Among the reasons is that because people were, were doubtful. Among the reasons is because, because people were fearful. Among the reasons is because people were 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 were, were, were not really uh, understanding the role of Imam al Hussein, we were not really understanding who Imam al Hussein is. Among the people had interest, uh, many interests that were uh, that were against the mission of Imam al Hussein. So similarly with us, there are many things telling they are hindering us to be part of uh, the caravan of Imam al Hussein. Among them is fear. Among them is that we have doubt, 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 doubt of Imam al Hussein. We have. We, have, we, we don't have uh, enough enough um, courage to become the car to, to to embark on the caravan of Imam Hussein. Yeah, those reasons are the reasons why we don't relate with Imam Hussein. Are the reasons why we don't we don't find it in our hearts to become part of the caravan of Imam Hussein. So therefore, in order for us to become that part of the caravan of Imam Hussein, that means there are certain things that we need to change in our life that are hindering us to become a part of the caravan of Imam Hussein. Because those who embarked in the, on the caravan of Imam Hussein knew what the really life is. They lived in meaningful purposes. They knew what, uh, what, 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 what entailed in terms of uh, working with Imam Hussein. So therefore it means that uh, the, the meaning of life uh, to them uh, is when they embarked on a caravan that was that was heading towards their death. Indeed, it was a caravan that was heading towards their, their what the really life is. 
So meaning that uh, the caravan of Imam Hussein revived their life and then they had meaningful life and an eternal life and then they never died. Until today, we are still singing their songs. We're still singing their bravery. We still speak about their bravery to our children. The, the legacy is still continuing due to because of the, the real meaning of life. Or, uh, they, had, they, they, they understood what is the meaning of what life is because the interpretation or all this interpretation that we find today of, about what life is are the reason why we are blinded on on seeing ourselves within the caravan of Imam Hussein, so that we become saved, so we become we become we become um, we become people with full of life. So, inshallah, uh, today I will speak also about the things that are in there are hindering our 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 progression or hindering our perspective or hindering our reach towards the. The, the, the caravan of Imam Hussein. Among them is they are basic. I'm not going to go deep into the, the philosophy of spirituality or all of those things, but I will only uh, speak about these two things, tailoring their faculties of human, human. tailoring their are very key towards human development. Among them is meaning the mind. And the second one is the These two things, among the caravan of the or the perspective, or the caravan of the or see a glimpse of the caravan of Imam Hussein, and also there are the things that are, they are enabled, they will enable you to reach the, car the caravan of Imam Hussein, inshallah. Now, uh, inshallah, I'll be just brief about this issue, uh, the mind. Uh, the mind is one of the most uh, important uh, a faculty or the one of the important um, uh, function of, of a human being. Ellering, uh, without a correct use of it, it will uh, uh, it will it will it will derail a purpose to or affinity to to destination in Yahar. Once your mind is being tempered with, uh, it will be, it will hinder you uh, towards reaching your purpose. Once your mind is being tempered with, it will derail uh, your journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once your mind has been tempered with, uh, it will, it will, it will, it will block your vision uh, towards the light and then it will our you see more more fifteen and then you know it's our salah or populate. Uh another the, the functions that that's a kalahanya motu inshallah which is uh, um uh, memory. The other one is my kuto am am anam seven uh, seven senses zero mutu na let's uh access to those seven senses, the, the, the reason why they are uh, active and able to 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 uh, to to access and the sensation, yeah, the seven senses is because of your brain or your mind is active as well. And also which is intelligence that goes hand in hand with thinking. Now those things are, are, are the three most important things. Celebrating, they, 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 they make, they, they, they have, they, 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 they make your mind to be active. They, they make your mind to, 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 to have a, a, a meaningful activity and function. Uh, inshallah. And once some of them are tempered with, and then they are, a, they have a. Uh, they will be able to get on a cellular to honor who is our Oscar Honor of Finella to 
towards a certain destination or towards a certain goal, uh, towards a certain um, uh, reach. So, inshallah, for instance, if Mokokolo how and then you're always stressing. Uh, you're always uh, thinking about the past. It will never uh, bring any any change or bring any development in your life. Those are the things that also can hinder you uh, towards development. There are people who are still not... Um, uh, able to come out of their their past and anything by its own it's 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 informed by their past and sometimes those things are the things that data or successful to a certain degree uh, for instance if uh, you got a something and you don't want to do anything about it, and you don't want to change, you don't want to heal inside, and then you don't want to, uh, to, to bring out those memories so that you heal, so that you can communicate with people. You will always have those memories, and then whenever it's like how it is, it's very cautious, or no, it's because of this side. For instance, if it's a matter of and then not even ill. Uh, even if there might be something alluring, a, a, a positive, when I told not even ill, for instance, when I, for instance, when me, no passage, when I passage, then he never did some obstacle, and then he never did one more, and it would be very difficult for that person or a hotel to the very same passage, or as I might in the same passage during the certain time, uh, going like. The whole uh, function of the pillow of higher change I will adjust to to certain things that I've seen in the past, and therefore uh, the the thought of seeing the passage or the it uh, empty that anything positive it will never come. So even if maybe there is something lying uh, uh, towards that passage, maybe there's a hidden treasure for him or her. Uh, I never hold my opinion. Reason is because uh, that passage in Mohopos are something similar with our life. So anything during it's a, a, a memory and then it's it harbors hatred, fear, and uh, I I can see a, a bit of a development in our life. Then that means that memory we need to 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 to, to uh, we need to. Speak with people, but only they can be to help us. We, we need to, 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 you know, to, to share our memories with people that will enable to help us. Professional friends, uh, ulama, baruti, uh, that's why. Now, uh, second thing is that uh, my good, my good lo arun. Uh, there are certain things that are in my good lo arun. The anam. Uh, and we entertain them a lot, and we entertain them a lot, and then they are they are they are, they are uh, making us to 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 uh, to uh, they are hindering our 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 direction towards Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. For instance, uh, uh, if 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 we we we. We use our senses for desire or for deceitful or desireful uh, purposes. Uh, for instance, if you see a woman naked, then that thing is becomes a desire. It, it has desire in your in your eyes. And every time when you see a woman, you uses these senses only to have a desireful um, uh, uh, purposes. Uh, when tastes, you will go to different restaurants. And not knowing who, uh, 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 all of these things, they, they, they reduce our perception or perspective of spirituality or moya waruna. Silaya waruna ya pone ya moya. The only enhance our only name, ya waruna. There are many uh, uh, functions, several uh, senses that are meant for something, but if we use them, 
to only uh, uh, to 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 have a desire or lustful desire, then therefore they will they won't be uh, be used as as purposefully as why they are created. Another one is that uh, uh, one of uh, functions that uh, that intelligence is also uh, thinking. If we use our thinking to 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 rob people to to scheme. Uh, use our thinking to um, uh, to 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 have a stress, and that it's it's is the that is a a, a getting to you know it, it is a lot of depression which uh, many youth is suffering from due to because we are using the function of thinking not to 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 uh, to solve our problems. Instead, we are using our our thinking capacity to 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 have a stress or a different why killing more why killing more positioning you know there's no way of out of it uh, out of all people why me like you know we're using the capacity to solve problems uh, uh, to, to either for for to 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 have our problems Yet uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala or God has given us all these uh, functions to to uh, to to work towards our own purposes because our mutamayaro na irisa to purposing yaro insha Allah. Dilotelorin di dinale negative effect towards our mukhopola waro na. Since Kajenu being uh, one of the most uh, important, uh, yesterday was 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 a day of the passing of one of our struggling heroes, which is the Biko. This is one of the, the sayings ever in Kusoko. Are the most potent weapon of the oppressor is in the mind of the oppressor. So whatever you harbor in your mind, whatever that they feed you, uh, the whatever. Things you think tailoring they are not uh, capable of uh, developing you as a human. Uh, they are a weapon of the oppressor to oppress you. Kurikitona, uh, weapons tailoring by the user to oppress you further uh, to the ground, further to a point where you don't even see yourself as a human. Now, inshallah, uh, speaking of things, some of them they are very negative towards our popular um, now. One of them is TV, music, uh, television, television. It's, it's television itself as something you watch affects your your eyes and also it affects your your mind. Uh, not even having anything on the uh, it affects you medically, it affects you uh, entertainment um, uh, entertainment content, Elorin uh, Islam TV, that has nothing to develop you or nothing to bring uh, to your life. Uh, uh, they give you the Elorin, they affect your brain. Because your brain you should be very active and yet it's relaxing and it's, it's being entertained. That means it's sleeping. Uh, music, and lawful music, yes, and for lawful music, Kima Pian. Uh, all of us should know that uh, among the music that is unlawful, there's my piano, and then we should also educate our children that my piano is unlawful in Islam. So, therefore, such music also can affect your brain. And um, you would wonder why a person, when he hears, he hears a beat, a child, just hears a beat, he refle- they immediately react towards that beat. The uh, sound of something they react towards it. So music, it is it is orchestrated in such a way that whenever it it, I, 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 it moves it, you some parts of your brain sensation towards your na. And look at the dances, look at how people dance to, uh, towards this type of music. And uh, it shows uh, the power of music, what it can do. It only goes through your, 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 your ears, 
spirit to your brain, but it it uh, it commands your whole body to move. Uh, so therefore, that is a kids on the 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 affect our own brain as well. Uh, among among them also, it's eyes uh, and uh, talk. Just even if even if even if it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not it's it's not uh, to speak eyes uh, and like eyes and talk. You speak about you know that no solo move They bring nothing but a uh, um. They bring nothing into your life. There's just talk in jail. It has no purpose in life. And it doesn't doesn't bring anything. It doesn't bring me closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The whole day uh, we've been speaking about uh, I don't know, Banyana Bali, Waboni, Rapiri di Kalazijuan, in like certain things that has nothing to do with developing a human being. So I will talk also is one among the things. The stress is I've mentioned and too much sleeping. Uh, too much sleeping also is one of the things that uh, the affect time brain. When you sleep a lot, like probably more than eight hours or twelve hours sleeping. So it affects also your brain function. Uh, there are also uh, studies celery, that say sorry, little celery they affect your brain. Now, inshallah, also there are remedies tailoring. We cannot see it only one side. There are also remedies tailoring that we can help our brain to develop, inshallah. Among them is that also because we have memories, we should you know, create memories, go to, to the park, go to uh, you know, sightseeing places tailoring. They are very beautiful to your eyes in, in terms of nature. Uh, also, those things that are very powerful in um, uh, brain activity. Uh, picnics, family time, all, all of those things, they are helpful towards uh, creating new memories. Whenever even sitting down reminiscing, you know, you have a lot of thing, a lot of things to thank, to be thankful for. Or you know what, I have a family, I, I love my wife, I love my kids, you know, I'm having beautiful memories with them, you know, visiting people, like all of all of those things. Uh, among them also is that we should also uh, make the gift of Quran. Uh, Quran, meaning reading Quran as well, is one of the things that are really, they are very effective towards the uh, development or the mind development. Um, uh, restrain from uh, from the things children they, they heighten your desire. Restrain from those things children they heighten your desire. Knowing that you love food and, and food is something children it affects you a lot, and uh, you love it and it's, it stops you from doing certain things children you when you're addicted. So if you should reduce or re, reduce your 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 your, your those senses that are the affect, they, they heighten your desire. Meaning, for instance, if it's food, then you should fast. Um, if it's talking too much, you should just, you know, have like a, a time to keep quiet and to yourself. Uh, among the things, it's a lot. My first segment will be will be, uh, will be a lot, inshallah. But bear with me, inshallah. And among, among the things is also... Uh, Opposite to that which uh, heightens your desire, and then you must do the things that excite your desire from your senses. If like touching, uh, touching certain things around you, like leaves, uh, uh, nature, touching certain animals, you know those things. Uh, exploring with your with your senses, exploring the they will they will also be helpful towards your uh, your mind development. Inshallah. And also uh, among them is that we should uh, read. We should read a lot. Read. Reading is very powerful. When you read, it's only your mind that is engaged. Your your eyes and your mind, because your eyes only access the the pages, but the the mind, your eyes are moving because of the command of your brain. And your brain is 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 constantly active when you are reading. And also, you are creating images in your mind, and that is very, uh, very healthy for your mind. 
and uh, also you know we should engage in intellectual discourses uh, whenever you hear people speaking about certain things instead of them they are very uh, they challenge your mind they are intellect, they are, they are, they are intellectually challenging you you should try to, to to be part of those type of discussions not to always uh, uh, conclude or choose you uh, how many times did you want to the semi-final this what you know all those things are not helpful helping your mind all they, they just bring a lot of depression to uh, fans or uh, lovers of your know, uh, soccer and what are done chiefs uh, so all i'm saying like politics uh, philosophy or medicine you know be the be engaging, you know, in intellectual discourse because your brain that time is very active and it it, it, it reacts and it, it always want to press something and always want to put like you will see how much you enjoy uh, these intellectual discourses inshallah. And also among other things is, is that we should engage in critical thinking. And then these these advices also you know and killer link up from you know from research is still or in this and let's see the one some of them is uh ulama also have mentioned them, inshallah who are cut of Mahi and I've had some of them, Mullah Ali speaking about them like engaging in critical thinking and also you know tailoring, you know, they have like critical games, tailoring uh, uh, mind games. So yeah, all of these things kito na tayo rin di ko na o o porita talo kanya ka ko katulad rin iba boy meaningful. So as I've said, like a a meaningful life uh, will lead us towards a meaningful purpose, and a meaningful purpose will make us really know what the real life is. And one, once we know what the real life is and it's all about, then our perspective, our perspective will change about what life is. Instead of giving our life to certain things that are meaningless, then we we'll start giving our life to certain things that are very uh, meaningful to our life. And then that will enlighten uh, and it will guide will guide us and then will, will make us reach our own purpose, inshallah. Another thing is that the heart, now the heart is another one of the the most um, important faculty of a human being or function of a human being. It is where uh, uh, it is where you you uh, evil and good flourish the heart. And there are many ayats that speaks about the heart in the Quran, uh, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, uh, warns us about what. The heart details and how to treat our hearts and then what we should do uh, in, in terms of uh, making our hearts pure. Uh, there is a saying, some people uh, ascribe this saying to Imam Imam, Imam Ad. They say, if you want to locate uh, where your heart is, uh, where, if you want to locate where your, your heart is, look at your mind when it wanders. Or immediately when you wonder uh, where your mind is going, that's where your heart is. If your mind is all about speed, you go in total in an engaged chalet, when you are speaking, when you are sitting alone and thinking, what is like when you are wondering on your own, then that's where your heart is. If you really want to know where your heart is, Look at your mind where it wanders. So many people have ascribed this to Imam Hussein, uh, Imam Ali. So inshallah, among the things tailoring, um, uh, okay, as I've said, like the mind can access the senses, the seven senses, your mind, your, your touch, your taste, your, your hearing, your sight, your smell, uh, the, your 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 brain can access those, but according to 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 Quran, uh, your your heart access your 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 sight and also your your brain, inshallah. 
your 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 brain, your heart, your mind, access your your eyes and your ears. Only inshallah. Uh, now, the heart is where the under the true understanding of knowledge exists. Immediately, once you you have uh, you learn uh, something, you have knowledge. You become an intellectual. You intellectualize all these thoughts, all these 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 things into your mind, but. Uh, the true understanding uh, of of those concepts rest into your your heart. Uh, how do we remedy the things celebrating the they, they affect our heart is sin, as I've mentioned, is sin and also harboring hatred are the things celebrating they affect our, our heart. But among the things celebrating they can uh, I want to go through these issues really, really fast, inshallah. There are things that will be the remedy of our heart is that we should uh, visit the sick, um, and we should visit um, the poor, we should help the poor, and we should read a lot about Ahlul Bayt because the heart, it is that which connects us with Ahlul Bayt. Uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, one of the rewards uh, in Italy, for, for all the things that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has done on, on to earth regarding uh, the, 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 the giving us Islam and telling us about Islam and all of that. The reward of it is that we should help the love of Ahlul Bayt, inshallah. So that the love of Ahlul Bayt, it is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, meaning the love is something, it is, it is a function of the heart and our heart should always be connected to Ahlul uh, Bayt, uh, inshallah. And then we should uh, read, we should we should help the poor, as I've, as I've said, uh, we should read the Quran most often in order for us to have a, 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 a clean heart, because the Quran is one of the things that already said that it can purify your heart, it can engage your heart, inshallah. And um, one of the things that I've, that I've realized regarding our, our brain and also our, our mind and also our heart is that sin, since again uh, intentions it comes from the, the, the brain or the mind, whenever you want to do an action and in order for that action to be accepted judicial is that you, it has to have be coupled with intention. And the intention comes from the mind, but sincerity comes from the heart. And among the things also is that I want to speak about action. Uh, uh, just to be brief, inshallah, that I'll be closing, is that if you want to know an intelligent person, you hear, hear listen to him when he speaks. But if you want to know a wise person, look at his action. So this is how you can able to distinguish a person who is an intelligent person, and also you can distinguish from a person who is a, a wise person. A wise person like acts from 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 the things that he thinks about, things he believes in, or things that are indeed they, they, they are meaningful towards him. But a, a, a an intellectual person only he can only speaks you know intellectualize you know speak about concepts say what not the philosophy and all of that and then you can see that person is a person who will move on our own. But however, the town is one of the things that only they can scale the level and heighten of a person's intellectual capability. There's a saying of Imam, uh, Imam Jafar, he says, and also Imam, many, many have, have, have heard this saying, but they come in different ways. They say the heart, the, the heart, uh, the, the, food, the heart, the, the tongue of the, the heart of the foolish is in his tongue, but the, the, the tongue of the wise it is in his heart. Meaning that a person, whenever he speaks, he thinks. That is also a remedy 
for the one following user at home because that first action that will enable to tell you whether this person, what kind of a person he is, to measure the brain of the person is absolutely that um, uh, intellect, uh, so intelligent, so in order for us to measure person about his intellectual uh, capability is that in order for, for you, because a person who speaks a lot, it is said that uh, it will be even how, 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 how ignorant he is. Who speaks a lot and, and meaningless issues or meaningless things, they, it shows or immutolerant is not as immutolerant or let's say. So, remedies is that your tongue, since your tongue is the most powerful thing, it can destroy reputation, it can destroy families, it can, it can separate communities and families. The tongue today is the reason why black people are not. About the tongue is the reason why people are now the tongue. If you want to become a person, it will heighten your, your intellectual capabilities. Just just keep quiet, speak less. Once you speak less, your mind will wander, and once it wanders, that's when it will want to, to know a little bit of things, many things. When, when you speak, your mind keeps quiet. So currently my mind is keeping quiet because I've been speaking almost for almost an hour. So yeah, another thing is that think before you speak. As I've said, that the heart of the tongue, the heart of the foolish, it's in his tongue, but the tongue of the wise, it's in his heart. Meaning that a person, whenever he wants to speak, he needs to think first. And then Kimo to one pin. That means Pedra Hai, Lemila Hai Lemo, Pedro. But Mutuasa Nanana after Abu. That means Lemila Hai, the Pedra Hai Moli, the Lemila Hai. Unana Kali Limi, then Unana. So, yeah, among the action is that uh, we should always follow the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, also be service to our family and service to, to our people. And uh, because since we are Muslim, we have taken the shahada. When we, once we take the shahada, then our our life become different. Meaning, our purpose in life become different from other people. Our 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 life become uh, become according to the to 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 what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala commands. Meaning, we are taking a covenant. So we must be among the people that say Samia wa meaning that we hear and we obey. And among the things that I've said, and all of these things that I've said, inshallah, is that we should have activities that will um, address your own development, because we are different people. We know the Kuawar, but they were like a strong thing. Then we should have activities that are they will yourself, on your own, have your own activities that are in the world. They will heighten uh, your, your your development, and it will show. It will it will it will form us or it will form us even more open. Open. It will form us for a reason, purposeful reason in life. Because the one who said before, why do we live? King reason yar on able pay, and once we know the reason yar on able pay, lo, then the thoughts of my God say that everything Allah Subhanahu wa Taala are waiting on us, so that we. Reach the possible, we reach our own destination, inshallah. Uh, with that said, inshallah, to listen to that which I presented, inshallah. Uh, this, this chance to this opportunity for to present uh, that which my two cents worth of uh, presentation, inshallah. Uh, Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Anwar lebukhile khakulu eh ntadiri tlo pogam la nyeni. Er lebukhile puwa ya khakhu eh inang liri tuto tzingata 
Donc, pour Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a fait le fait que le inshallah, a fait le fait que le fait que le fait que le Dear brothers and sisters, Bako Khai, thank you very much for joining us today um, for After the Massacre, uh, part five. The last segment thereof, inshallah. Um, Saturday, as you can see the announcement down there, uh, we will be having the Arba'in program. And also, please contribute to the water drive, inshallah. Ta'ala. Uh, yeah. That is it. That is all for tonight. We thank our speaker very much. Thank those who um, were watching also very much. Uh, see you all tomorrow. Inshallah ta'ala. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi tahirin. Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad. Wherever you may be, let us read al-fatiha for all the deceased and all the sick. Inshallah al-fatiha. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الحمد لله رب العالمين